Samsung wants the Galaxy S8 to be its safest phone ever and it's not taking any chances that would potentially hinder the possibility of that being a very real fact that you could mention when talking about the phone. It's of course working towards this goal by implementing the many new safety standards that it has in place following the issues with last year's Galaxy Note 7 batteries, something which Samsung is not only eager to move past but hopes customers will move past it too. That's why it's putting the Galaxy S8 through so many different battery tests to make sure that it really is the safest phone ever. Part of this process includes doing charge and discharge tests on at least 50,000 different Galaxy S8 devices, which is no small number. Testing also isn't the only measure that Samsung has taken to ensure that the Galaxy S8 is a safe device. It's also decreased the battery capacity in the Galaxy S8 and Galaxy S8 Plus, but has also completed hundreds of recharge cycles to test the longevity of the battery life, which Samsung states will be better than that of the Galaxy S7 Edge that has a larger battery capacity, and that's because it's able to withstand more charge cycles and because the battery is also more durable than before. These are important points as the lowered battery capacity and the more durable build are factors that Samsung took into account to make sure that the batteries were safer. A lower battery capacity though, is usually associated with a battery life on the device that doesn't last as long, and Samsung didn't want a safer battery to mean that consumers would have to give up on having longer lasting battery life. According to Samsung's R&D department, the Galaxy S8 should be able to keep about 95% of its original battery capacity even after a two-year period compared to the 80% that's held by most batteries. Even at only a 15% increase that's an impressive accomplishment because it should no longer be looked at as being 20% shy of its original battery capacity but that it's kept nearly 100% of the original capacity even after all that use. When it comes to the tests that Samsung is doing on the batteries, it's doing everything from checking durability in a number of ways, like puncturing batteries with a nail and heating them to 70 degrees Celsius for a 7-hour period, to putting each and every single battery through an X-ray test to double-check for any abnormal traits that shouldn't be there. Samsung even checks each battery for leakage, and the entirety of the tests for each battery takes about 5 days to complete. What it all comes down to is that Samsung is taking these battery tests very seriously, not just because it wants to ensure the safety of its consumers, but perhaps more so because they also can't afford not to, because they simply aren't willing to take the risk at having a similar problem to last year's incidents.